Nuclear power plants go to great lengths to protect workers from exposure to radiation. Radiation dose is measured each time a worker enters plant areas where exposure is possible. Protective clothing can be worn to minimize certain types of radiation. Maintenance activities are carefully planned to minimize the time workers are in higher dose areas. It is also possible to limit radiation at its source through efforts referred to as source term reduction. EPRI is developing a new source term reduction technology that could double or triple the rate at which certain radioactive substances can be removed from water streams in nuclear plants. The new technology, a novel resin called COSEC for cobalt sequestration, offers many possible benefits. Reduced worker radiation exposure, reduced radioactive waste generation and disposal, quicker access to nuclear containment to conduct maintenance during outages, no need for new equipment because the resin can be used in existing water treatment systems, and the resin can be used throughout a nuclear plant's operating cycle as well as during plant outages. To understand how the new technology works, it's important to understand how radioactive species are produced and transported within a nuclear plant. In a boiling water reactor, for example, elemental cobalt, predominantly cobalt-59, is released into nuclear reactor water streams due to corrosion of certain components such as valves, piping, and reactor components. The cobalt-59 moves with the water and deposits onto the fuel core where it can be activated to form radioactive cobalt-60. The cobalt-60 is then circulated to various parts of the containment where it is responsible for the majority of radiation dose received by nuclear plant workers. The cobalt sequestration resin technology can be added to a nuclear plant's water cleanup system to improve removal of these radioactive species. During a maintenance outage, nuclear plant practice involves waiting until radiation levels have fallen to predetermined levels before entering containment. The quicker you get those levels down, the quicker workers can enter containment and the quicker the plant can get back online. The cobalt sequestration resin technology can speed this process. So what is this new COSEC resin? Basically, it's a newly developed substance that provides a better mechanism for capturing and holding onto radioactive species. Whereas conventional ion exchange resins loosely bind the cobalt to the resin, the new resin captures and locks cobalt species through both physical and electrical interactions. Compared to conventional ion exchange resins, which must be replaced regularly as their capacity is reached, the new resin has a much higher capacity, possibly three times or more. In 2009, EPRI conducted initial proof-of-concept tests of COSEC using an experimental batch of resin. These tests demonstrated substantial increases in cobalt capture compared to typical ion exchange resins. In 2010, the resin was tested using water samples from two operating nuclear power plants. Again, the results revealed enhanced cobalt removal. The next steps involved testing on full-size filter elements coated with the COSEC resin and in-plant evaluation at both a boiling water reactor and a pressurized water reactor. If successful, commercial readiness could occur within two to three years. The resin technology for which EPRI has obtained three provisional patents could then be licensed to commercial resin manufacturers. COSEC could be applied at the majority of nuclear power plants around the world. Successful development would have many, many benefits, from improved safety of nuclear plant workers to lower electricity costs through shorter maintenance outages. For example, by reducing the wait time before entering containment from up to three days currently to one or two days with the use of the new resin, nuclear plants could save up to one to two million dollars in replacement power costs alone. The research efforts to bring COSEC to commercialization will require a systematic progression from laboratory testing through pilot scale assessment through full scale field evaluation. Through its focus on innovation and its collaborative approach to research, EPRI is uniquely positioned to lead these efforts.